My name's Adam Toole. Um, I'm an electrical inspector for WA Electrical Inspection at Western Power. We're the secret inspectors that work for Western Power that nobody knows about. We check uh, electricians, electrical contractors that do the actual work on the network, make sure they're compliant to current regu regulations and legislation. That can be anything varying from a new solar installation on a domestic house to a brand new school that's just been completed. I also attend fires and shock incidents. That can't be like that, can it? No, I'll phone them up. That's pretty good though. Oh, that's yeah. a no. We have to ensure that what gets connected to the network is safe to do so. And that is done through a random inspection. It can be down lights getting, getting installed in your house, power points, a kitchen renovation, shop fitting, uh, all aspects of electrical work we will inspect. To be fair, our job is the easiest job in the world. To go to a, a somebody's work and, and find what's wrong with it is the easiest job in the world. You know, to do it right in the first place when you're under pressure and under cost restrictions and time restrictions is, is not hard, but things tend to get missed. I start my day normally from home. Uh, I, I always get up at quarter past five, take the dog out, switch the computer on, check to see what jobs have come in overnight. Because then what ha has to happen is I raise a general job and then just like I say, just either on the phone or just flick me through the e-numbers. Okay, I see there's a few jobs there in Padbury and uh, switchboard upgrade and I think we'll go and check that one out. Okay, uh, just wait to see if uh, anyone's in here for the moment. I'm here to do a switchboard upgrade that's just been done on the property and check the earth wire out. That has voltage on it. So we know that once we start working in there, we have to put our PPE on. A few of the traits that make you good at your job is you've got to have common sense. Common sense goes a, a long way when you're deciding on where this next path is gonna take you. If you're looking at something that has a potential to be a hazard, you can use common sense to determine how severe it is. Uh, and again, safety. You've always got to think when there's line of safety. Right, well that's that inspection finished and uh, yeah, not too bad a job. It's uh, nice and tidy inside it. All the test results all uh, comply. So everything's all good. Tick. I like the autonomy. Uh, there's a, a lot of trust gets put into the inspectors to go and do the right thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just great having the freedom. You're not stuck in one place all the time. I'm not an office-based person. Everybody has their own method and their own approach to the way they do things. And so basically, so you're methodical and you don't miss anything. Um, I'll enter the property, do a visual all the way around the property first, and I'll go left all the way around so I don't miss a room or don't miss anything. Then I'll come back and then if the switchboard needs to be energised, I will check the switchboard, make sure it's all good. I'll do a insulation resistance at the switchboard then. Then I know it's safe to be energised. I can then energise the switchboard and then I can actually go and check everything throughout the house, test it all, make sure the circuit breakers trip, make sure there's continuity on everything. Out here I'm looking for everything that is uh, IP rated, so everything's moisture proof for being outside. Um, so for instance, socket outlets need to be moisture proof, IP rated for the actual zone that they're in, which is outside the house. Uh, making sure there's no cables, uh, uh, live cables left hanging out or unterminated cables. The most challenging part of the job, I guess, is the members of the public. They don't know we're coming, so if we just turn up out the blue, it, it sort of like catches them on the hop and it's just far too difficult to make an appointment. If we find something that requires us to be on site for four hours and then we've got an appointment booked for later in the day and we miss it, that would be worse than actually turning up out of the blue. There's a little bit of explaining sometimes to try and get around that, but once you've explained it to them and they understand why you're there, it does sort of unfold. So I just noticed there there's a socket that might be within the zone, within the bath. Uh, I'm just going to ring my colleague. I'm, Uncertain with the, having the shelf above it, so I just need to make sure um, I'll send the photo through to him and just give a quick call, just get a second opinion. Yeah, hi Adam. I've just flicked a photo through to you um, of a bath. So I've got a bath, uh, a socket above a bath in a bathroom, and it's within 500 of the bath, 
but, but there's a shelf above it. It has to be more than 500 away. Yeah, no, nah, definitely, definitely. A lot of the contractors that we have, are, uh, virtually all the contractors we have, are pretty good. They're on the money. You know, usually it's something that's been overlooked or something that's not quite right or they've not seen it or they didn't realise it or they've missed something. So, and a lot of the defects that we find are completely visual, not down to testing or anything else. It's just a complete visual that we find. Here we go. Let's have a little look. Just turned up here in Padbury. I've got a site main switchboard for these three units to inspect. Process is go up, make sure the board is safe, take the escutcheon plate off, which is the cover, check all the connections inside, run some tests on the earthing system and the fault loop system back to transformer and put it all back together again. The tools I use in the job, mainly hand tools, um, physical tools, but then we have a lot of other social skills that are tools that we use as well. So we're continually doing courses, risk assessments and reading people, psychological uh, courses that we do. We've just come to a new house that's in being built at the minute. Um, the meter box has been installed and they want to put a supply in there for the builders to use. Um, come to check that and then we can energise that and then it will be used for the house at a later stage. We do have a good working relationship with the contractors and we try to guide them as best we can. I'm quite happy for contractors to ring me for advice. So I've just finished the test on the meter box. Um, everything's good, ready to go, so we can get a crew out here to connect the meter so the house can be energised and we're off to the next job. I cover as far north as Cervantes and down to Hillary's, which is great, I don't mind that. I don't mind the country run and people that live in the country are different to people that live in the, in the metro area, which is good as well, you get to see all different walks of life. Some people are absolutely over the moon, especially when you find something wrong, then they're like, oh, really good. It, it, it's good when you walk away and they're thanking you for the service, which is free, uh, and they're thanking you for that, you know? We do, I think we do a pretty good job as inspectors. Sometimes it can be challenging, sometimes it can't be. Some days you can get loads done, other days you can get absolutely nothing done. It's like you're swimming against the tide, but I guess that's the same in any job, you know? 